That's mine! Children, what's up? What's cracking? Lacking more than a... Welcome to a brand new season of Small Blacks TV. What a year it's gonna be. I'm your host, Noah Fino. We've got a lot of our regulars back and a few new faces you may recognise. Every week, I'm gonna be joined by a VIP that's a very interesting person. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming up. We have all sorts of cool guests on the show this year, including All Blacks legend Christian Cullen, who stops by to show us how to score tries, while current All Black Julian Savia and brother Adi talked about fashion designing. 19-year-old Tyler Nathan Wong is already part of the New Zealand women's sevens team and aiming for Olympic gold. And that's just a few of the awesome guests we have lined up. Make sure you join us in the locker room for all the action. So make sure you don't miss out. But if you do, jump on TVNZ On Demand and catch up on all the action. Speaking of action, it's time for our very own action man, All Black Richard Kahui. He's back and racing more Small Blacks and sometimes the referee in Cucks vs Kids. Roll the tape! Welcome to Cucks vs Kids, the toughest rugby course in the world. It will take skill, speed, strength, courage, and just a little bit of luck to take down rugby Let's World go. Cup winning champion Richard Kutzkahu. Who is a contender and who is a pretender? Let's meet the challengers. In blue is Amelia. She's a first five, but her favourite player has the best friend in the world, Corey Jane. Another first five is Daniel Foy, who's 12 years old. Surprise, surprise, who's his favourite All Black? DC. Josh the big man, and his favourite All Black is the man they call Skax. Amelia, who's going to be the toughest person to beat today? Richard, because he's faster and stronger. What about you, mate? What's going to be the hardest part of the course? Probably the boats. I'm not that good with filly things. And Josh, the big man, what's the game plan? Uh, going through the tackle bags because it looks easy. Oh, confidence. I like to hear it. I've been, I've been fitted with this heart rate monitor for this. Greg, Greg's given it to me. It's his own little personal... It's exactly what it is. It's a heart rate monitor. <laughs> oh, great. Right. Heart yeah, rate monitor. monitor what I'm up yeah, to, yeah, so yeah. should be right. good. Good little fitness feedback. Well, good luck with that one. Yeah. Ref, right. take it away, mate. On your marks, get set. And away we go with the first Cucks vs Kids of the season. And what about this heart monitor? What will they think of next? What he doesn't know is I've fitted him with this top secret controller. I'm hoping to sell it to the All Blacks. I can control his every movement. <laughs> Our Small Blacks carry their rugby ball through the defender and pass it to Rugger. It's all about speed and skill. Oh, what's going on? Now to the boot station where each competitor has to screw in six studs before what's they can on? carry on. What are you doing to me? What's going on here? Nothing. <laughs> um. The look uh, says it all. Technical uh, difficulty. Uh, and our All Black is off. Leading the pack into Ruggerland Castle, Cux in complete control of this race. Or is he? I can't stop him, what's going on? <laughs> oh! oh right now, Cux should be doing 10 push ups and 10 sit ups. Not mucking around with Ruggerland Castle. Here come the challengers, Daniel, Amelia, and Josh. Boom! Check out the big hit on the tackle bag. This is why he's in All Black, the extras. Push up, sit up, burpees. He really goes the extra mile. Some camera commands, Greg. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind the tape. Now, I'm no doctor. But this cannot be good for your general health. Love the facial. Here's our champion in red, Daniel Fui. He takes the glory, he takes the prizes. Woohoo! There you go, mate. And Cut takes a run, courtesy of our referee's brilliant invention. Has anybody got any spare batteries? Amelia takes silver, Josh's bronze, and Cux gets the big did not finish. Wait a minute! Come back! Hey! A remote controlled All Blacks. I don't know about that one. Every week we get out and about for our Small Blacks on Tour segment. This is mean because we meet awesome people, and one of the coolest is, well, why don't we just show you instead? I was 
talking it out in the beautiful Waikato town of Cambridge, thinking about how I was going to get fit for rugby season when I came across two sweet rides. Hmm, look at what we have here. Boys! Guys, what are you up to? Just doing some rugby practice. Why aren't you on the bikes? Ah, because that's boring. Boys, get your bikes, come with me. Have I got something to show you? Now, normally I'd agree that practicing with a rugby ball is way cooler than a bike, but what my two small blacks didn't know was this. What do you reckon, boys? Looks a bit hardcore. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this. Cam and Jake, don't you worry, because I've got Olympic BMX silver medalist Sarah Walker to help us out. Hey, guys. My mate Sarah is an awesome BMX rider. In fact, she's so awesome, she won an Olympic silver medal in London last year. And now she's a big star and on billboards like this all over New Zealand. She is fearless and at the top of her game. So we thought we'd tap into the Cambridge champion. So here we are on the starting blocks. And Sarah, before we have a go, can you give us some tips? Yep, well, I brought my friend Ryan along to come and show you, give you some demos and uh, also check out his bike. It looks like half a bike to me. <laughs> Well, it's actually a race bike. Um, we've got skinny wheels on here uh, to go really fast. Uh, it's really light, uh, so we can fly through the air. He's even got special gear on. Sure does. He's got long sleeves and long pants on, so that we don't graze our elbows and knees as much. Uh, he's got gloves, because you always put your hands out first, and they always get you, scratch up your palms. Um, he's got shoes on to protect his toes from getting scuffed. Most importantly, a full face helmet, just in case you come off your head's the most important part, so you've got to protect it. Although Ryan is only 10 years old, he's an accomplished rider and a handy rugby player. So you're a rep rugby player? Yep. Two-time national champion? Third in the world, two-time national champion and two-time North Island champion. And how long have you been racing? Seven years. Wait, you're 10, so that means you started when you were three? Yeah. Could you even, like, tie your shoelaces up and stuff? <laughs> no. OK. So we know Ryan can ride, we definitely know Sarah can ride, but can our two small blacks? It was time to put the wheels where the mouth is. OK boys, so you ready to give it a go? Yep. What do you have to remember? Keep your pedals level and keep the wheels straight. OK, well, should we roll to the gate? Yep. Did you enjoy that? Is that something you like to do instead of shuttles? Yeah, I think so, yeah. A bit more fun than jogging up and down, eh? Yeah, way better than shuttles. So, Sarah, how long have you been racing BMX? I've been riding BMX for 14 years. And I uh, started when I was 10 years old, but kids these days start when they're like three. What's the best part about being Sarah Walker? Being able to ride my bike every day for a living. So I brought KM and Jake along because I thought BMXing would be great for rugby. What do you reckon? Well, I think it's uh, got the rough and tumbles uh, action of rugby, and if you hit the ground, it's pretty much being like tackled by an All Black, so <laughs> I think it relates in that sense. Um, yeah, it's always good to get out and do something that's fun and, and give you a bit of fitness and a bit of power. And I couldn't let Sarah go without checking out the bling, which turned out to be almost as heavy as Ryan's bike. There you go, boys, check it out. Sarah and Ryan, thanks heaps for helping us out today. Yeah, no worries. See, riding is fun and it keeps you fit. Well, no doubt we'll see you at the Olympics. Boys, should we get back on our bikes? Let's roll. Wait, give me a little bit. I might break it. And no scores. Try. <laughs> hey! Welcome back to the first Small Blacks TV of the year and we're only just warming up. Next is a segment you'll know well. We do have a brand new anchor man on the team, but Conrad Snakey Smith is out on the streets again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls and rugbys, strap yourselves in for the biggest news stories on the planet. Give it up for Small Blacks News. Boom! Hello and welcome to a brand new season of Small Blacks News with your brand new and improved anchorman, I'm Poor. 
Mangasiva and leading your news today. On this day in 1981, Mr. and Mrs. McCaw from Corral welcomed a bouncing baby boy to the team and named him Richie. Originally, it was thought that Mrs. McCaw was having twins, but the other lump turned out to be a rugby ball in young Richie's arms. Hmm. Well, he's always selected in the top teams, and we are pleased to say that he's back again. Large and in charge and ready for kickoff. It's our roving small blacks news reporter Conrad Smith, and he's on the streets and looking fantastic in new threads. Conrad! G'day Pua, good to be here and good to be back on the streets, putting the tough questions to the good people. Well, it's great to be on the same team with you, buddy. Now tell me, what's with the Canterbury jersey? You going down south? No, no, Pua. For a start, this is Buller's jersey. And every week, we're taking a new team to the streets and seeing what people know about it. Well, big guy, that sounds mildly interesting. Hmm. Let's see how you get on. Over to you. Small Black's News, a few questions. Small Black, kids show, Small Black's News. What provincial jersey am I currently wearing? Um, I'll give you a clue. Uh, Tez, uh, Buller. Buller, you got it. Yeah. Population of Buller. 10,000. 100,000. 100,000! 10,000. Go with 10,000. 10,000, yeah, you got that one. Buller beat which team to win last year's Lahore Cup? West Canterbury, South Canterbury, North Canterbury? South Canterbury. West Canterbury. I'll go with North then. <laughs> South. <laughs> <laughs> Is Westport on the east or west coast of the North Island? <laughs> Trick question. Uh, <laughs> west coast. Of the North Island. Oh, the North yeah. Island. <laughs> he got someone with a trick question. <laughs> well done, Snakey. I think this is going to work. Some interesting answers, although you might want to check your facts. So I thought Buller was in West Canterbury. But there's no such thing as West Canterbury. <laughs> Apology accepted, mate. For now, it's time to say goodbye and God bless. That's right, Pua, and this one goes out to all the awesome folks on the streets. Stay on side, Buller. <laughs> Buller's in the South Island. Who would have thought? Well, we all need some good advice every now and then, so we thought we'd ask our very own Rugby World Cup winning skipper, Richie McCaw, to help us out. So every week, our Small Blacks will be asking a tough question to Captain Fantastic himself. We call it Let's Ask Richie. So Richie, how do I get fit for rugby? I think the, the way to get fit is, uh, and I still the same now, is, is do plenty of running. And uh, probably for guys your age, I remember when I was young, I used to get outside and uh, chase the ball around, uh, just running around after school. That's the way I used to get fit, and that's pretty much what I do now. Don't pass it, Matthew! You score the try! Pin your ears back, go for the corner! Use your fan, Matthew! That's the one! Woo! Yes! 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 yes. 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 Uh, <clears throat> so what do you reckon, uh, DC, has he got what it takes? I reckon one thing, if he can put up with you three, he can definitely handle test match pressure. Uh, well. Woo, what did I tell you? Even DC reckon he's got to be all black. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All black. Small Blacks <laughs> rugby is not all blacks rugby. It's all about having fun. Welcome back to Small Blacks TV, the only show that has all the superstars like me, Richie, Cux, DC, Snakey, Poor, Rugger, and of course the biggest, Clark Clarkson. What's that? Who's Clark Clarkson? Clark is Ruggerland's hugest star and host of brand new game show, Rugger Quiz, where every week, the evil, filthy mountain men of Mulu take on the Rugger Bees in a battle of good and evil. <laughs> so get ready to pause, set, and engage your thinking caps, because it is on! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good health to you all. Welcome to the game show that feeds your brain. And speaking of a brain that needs a good curry, here's your host, Clark Clarkson. Ha ha! 
when you're as hot as the Claxter, even curry feels cold. <laughs> the teens, if you will. From the depths of Mount Bio, the vile, filthy creatures known as Green and Mean, Power, Robbo, Squat, and Barry. Their nemesis from the green fields of goodness. It's the Yellow Bellies with Webb, William, Alice, and Rugga. With the formalities over, let's get it going. I feel very confident today, Rugga. Well, just be careful. We don't want to be too confident because we'll get slack like... A bird, a mammal, or a fish? Alice, yellow bellies. Oh, that's easy, Clark. A cheetah is the fastest animal on Earth. Everyone knows that. Alice, that is 100% wrong! The peregrine falcon can move at over 300 kilometres an hour. A cheetah only moves at 120. Gee, Alice, you made a mistake. Do you need a doctor? No. She just needs to slow down. Second question is... How many points is... Alice, yellow bellies! Oh, sorry, Clark. What were you going to say? Oh, no, you don't, Alice. Answer the question. Seven. Uh, I'm afraid not, Alice. The answer I was looking for was 145, the highest test score by the All Blacks. Sorry, guys. I'll get it right next time. Just let us have a go, Alice. We're down by 20 points. We need to get on the board. Don't listen to them, Alice. You've got all the answers. Well, I do score most of the tries. Next is our Tereo teaser, and it goes like this. The Māori word for friend is... Alice, yellow bellies again. Clark, the answer is kaiapō. I don't think it is, Alice. And uh, wrong again, Alice. Hoa is Māori for friend. Kaiapō means to be selfish. I'm not sure how you could get those two mixed up. Well, the yellow bellies are behind. Let's see if they can claw their way back from here. I was born in 1983 and went to Poriro Primary School. I have two brothers and two sisters. My favorite subject at school was Māori. I first played rugby when I was 11, but now I'm a centre for the Highlanders. Who am I? Rugger? Yes? I don't know the answer. Don't worry, I think I do. Good teamwork, Alice. Rugger, yellow belly! Clark, I think that's all black Tamati Allison. Well, let's have a look, shall we? If you've guessed Tamati Allison, then you're right. Well, folks, that's 10 points for Rugger! What am I? We'll decide the game. You go, Webb. Webb, yellow belly! I think it's a kicking team, Mr. Clarkson. Let's have a look, shall we? And what a stunning comeback from Alice. She's turned her game and that's our game. But before we go, kids, take a look at next week's What Am I? If you know the answer, then text it through to 4 8 I'm Clark Clarkson. I'll see you again next week. <laughs> So there you have it. You can't be too confident because things can get out of control pretty fast. Luckily, we've got Clark there to keep everyone under control. Next up is another brand new segment called All Black Skills, where every week an All Black will show us a new skill or game that you can play at school or at rugby practice. To kick things off this year is the man they call Skucks, Ma'anonu, teaching us his version of Piggy in the Middle. Hey guys, I'm Arnold, and today I'm going to show you a cool passing game called Piggy in the Middle. Passing is a basic rugby skill, but it's one of those most important things you can master. And when you do, you will pass others.
So here's how to play pig in the middle. You'll need about eight mates. So this is a game to play at training or during a break at school. Our Small Blacks team is using the All Blacks camp for kid spots. So you can use a cone, hula hoop, skateboard, or even smelly socks. Mmm, oh, this stinks. I'm sure you all know how to play piggy in the middle, but listen up because these rules might be a little different to what you're used to. Firstly, you need to pick up your piggy. Then, the rest of the team makes the circle around the piggy and puts one foot on the markers. And that's where you have to stay the whole time, unless you're jumping up to catch a ball. If you step off the mark, then sorry, it's your turn to be the piggy. Check out our small blacks and the right way to play. The piggy has to put pressure on the others to make a mistake, either by a bad pass or getting them off the mark. Change the piggy every 30 seconds if a mistake hasn't been made, and make sure everyone gets a turn being the piggy. Start off with a small circle and increase the size as you get more comfortable with your passes. Remember to keep your fingers relaxed, giving nice, smooth passes. So keep your eyes on the ball. That's all for now. So get yourself a ball and a piggy. Or even better, sign up for the All Blacks Camp for Kids. Check it out at abcforkids.co.nz. Cheers, Skucks. Cheers, everybody. And a big cheery hoorah to all you Small Blacks. The first points are on the board for the year, and we'll be back next week with more big plays and our first VIP guest. But before we go, we're giving away three of these awesome Rugged Tales DVDs every week. So if you want one, text Rugged Tales to 4888 and be in to win. That's me. I'm out. See you next week. Peace out. Rugged Tales. Rugged be met. The quest for Alice. I'm sure I'm in this. Where's my name? Created by Peter Hayfield, written by Mike Whitney. Oh, there I am. I made the cut. And it's my favorite. <laughs> mm. And hot. Nice work, Tommy. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.